I'm going to show you five simple strategies to manage those five daily habits you might be doing right now that are draining your energy so you can feel more energetic and in control of your everyday. I've used this same strategy with myself and others to help them identify these drain-sucking habits and regain energy. And today I'm sharing them with you. We'll cover why these habits drain your energy, especially after 50, and share five powerful techniques to help you boost your energy. When it comes to low energy, many of us tend to blame it on things like, we didn't get enough sleep, we didn't eat the right foods, or it's just because we're getting older and it's just normal. But the truth is, there are the subtle habits we engage with every day that hugely impact our energy. Habits that may appear harmless on the surface, but they actually cause us to feel tired, sluggish, and unmotivated. And the worst part, many of these habits have become so natural to us that we don't even realize we're doing them. For example, I noticed that when I dwell in the past or wishing I could have done things differently, I began to feel empty, sad, and unmotivated. As I mentioned before in previous shows, I was a single mom to my older children for 21 years. I often feel the sense of guilt that my children deserved a better mom. I find that I play different scenarios of how if I would have done this or that, perhaps I could have given them the same life but also been a better mother, the mother they deserved. And dwelling on what could have been is not healthy because we can't change the past. Another energy draining habit is scrolling on social media, believing everything we see, whether it's someone portraying their perfect life and their perfect home and their perfect family or products that will make your life so much better. After scrolling through these amazing, well-edited, and filtered lives, it can sure make us feel like everyone's life is way better than our own. Boy, isn't that exhausting. And since we're on the topic of social media, I don't know about you, but being a woman over the age of 50, getting older can sometimes feel scary especially when you see all these images or reels of young women between the age of 20 and 30 getting Botox injections and fillers to hide their wrinkles. Like, really? What wrinkles? Some of us women in our 50s haven't even had or considered this treatment. But when you see young women like, like this, you wonder, did I miss out on something? Or should I be afraid of getting old? Another daily habit that drains our energy is sitting there thinking about why we're still mad at that one person or people because, oh, can't even remember why I'm mad, but I need to continue to hold that grudge because I don't want to appear weak. And while we might sit there trying to relive that moment when they wronged us just so that we can remember why we're still harboring this anger, we suddenly feel tired. Could it be that we're tired because we're overstretching trying to remember something that means thing now? What about feeling stressed out about the things we cannot control? Here's an example. My oldest daughter always said she wanted to become a doctor when she grew up. I always encouraged her and provided her with tutors, even drove her on Tuesdays and Thursday nights to the local community college so she could attend these college courses when she was 15 years old and still in high school. Two years after graduating from high school, she decided she was going to drop out of college and attend a trade school to become a radio technician and wanted me to co-sign for a student loan of $60,000. I fell into a deep depression. I can't even express to you how disappointed I was to hear her tell me this. I didn't want to share with her how disappointed I was. 
But I think she knew it by looking at my face. To tell you the truth, I wanted to yell at her and tell her, no, you're going back to school and remaining on course. But then I realized she was a grown adult woman. And I cannot control her, nor can I continue to stress out about her choices. I had to trust that she would find her way. So what can we do to boost our energy? We need to understand that we cannot change our past. It's not good to dwell on what could have been, should have been, or what we did wrong. Instead, we can learn from our past, make adjustments where need be, and identify the good our past has to offer. Remember, it's our past that has made us the amazing person we are today. Limit your time on social media. For some of you who may not know, and those who need a reminder, people post beautiful moments. You know those beautiful moments that we normally hold close to our hearts? Well, some people are super creative, amazing editors, know how to use filters, and make things appear more beautiful than they really are. But most people will not post what's really going on in their life. It's just not appealing as the life they want you to think they have. So instead, focus on your beautiful, unedited, and unfiltered life, family, and continue to have those beautiful memories. When I think about getting older, I consider it a gift. Think about how many people you know who may have not gotten the opportunity to get old and have died due to an illness or an accident. I think about my stepfather who passed away due to cancer at the age of 53. So with that said, we must cherish this amazing life we have and the privilege it is to get old. And so as with any gift, we must take care of it by eating healthy, getting at least 30 minutes of exercise daily, and most of all, recharge our bodies by getting at least eight hours of daily sleep. In addition to this amazing gift of getting older, we have the opportunity to use our knowledge and our experience to mentor the future generations and create opportunities where they have not existed through building businesses. You see, we women over the age of 50 can truly change the world we are living in right now by making it better because we are experienced problem solvers. Did you know harboring anger or resentment toward others actually hurts you? It's like feeding yourself poison or toxins. It's unhealthy and it's slowly eating you up. Do you know forgiving people does not mean you're forgetting what they did, but rather you are letting go of those ill feelings inside you and making a place for those good feelings to live inside. I know forgiving people is hard. And while you cannot dismiss whatever occurred, hurting your feelings and maybe even affected your life's trajectory. But trust me here, you need to take the first step and forgive them for yourself because you do not need those negative feelings to continue to take residence inside you. By letting go of anger and resentment, you are inviting positive energy and thoughts into your life. Trust me, you're the winner here. And as for stressing over things you cannot control, my daughter did find her way. She took a small break from college, but went back six months later, and with time, graduated with a PhD in biomedical engineering. So as a mom, losing sleep, lots of crying, and stressing out got me absolutely nowhere. I had to learn to let go and let life take its course. Now that you know how to manage those five daily habits you might be doing right now that are draining your energy, you'll need to come back next week to learn how simple lifestyle changes can benefit 
your brain health and help you combat dementia. If you want more information about today's episode or additional resources, head on over to createthebestme.com forward slash EP085. Don't forget to share your thoughts 